So hey, what's up everyone? I'm here today with my good friend Linnell Beckles. We're gonna talk about how to hack your brain, how to be more productive, and really all the cool tips and tricks he knows so you can get more done with your business and you get your health right. So Linnell, thanks so much for joining us, man. Ah, you're welcome. I'm super excited for this. I, I love talking about brain health. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, I know the stuff you just put me on to you made a huge difference. So it's uh really a game changer once you start taking the right stuff and you know doing doing the work. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, um, for anybody that don't know, Kai and I kind of talked before this and uh, he shared with me a, a, te a test test results that actually let me know what his brain was doing. And I was like, dude, you need to be you need to be on this. And uh, I'm so glad he he trusted me. And now he's like feeling great. Hi, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it's, it's a game changer. Yeah, it, was, it happened real fast too. And I was kind of experimenting with supplements on my own, um, you know, ones that they were helping somewhere, somewhere I couldn't really tell. And someone like, maybe they're working. I didn't know, but with this, yeah, it was, no, didn't really take very long. It was a few days of me just being consistent with it. And it's like, um, firing on all cylinders again. I love it when that happens because uh, it lets me know that, you know, your brain is malleable and you just need the right supplements. There's a lot of I don't know if we can curse on here, but yeah, you're good. The, oh, yeah. perfect. There's a lot of shit supplements out there, and people swear by something else. Um, and I hate it. Um, I think the new trend right now is like sea moss, mm -hmm. and it's so funny because my mother fed me sea moss when I was growing up, and she she made it delicious, but I thought it was just a regular sea vegetable. And now people are like claiming it's like the new new supplement, and I'm like, no, it's not. It's just a just a sea vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I like think goes through trends and like, you know, what's popular and you know, what's not. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when acai was like huge mm -hmm. and then now it's like people was like, Oh yeah. Acai bowls. And they're, they're just not as excited about it anymore. It, it, that's the way all trends go. And that's why yeah. I ignore every one of them. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah, new hotness. People want to try to hop on the new thing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't hop on a new thing. Just do something that your body really loves and do it well. And yeah, I just got my uh, my kit in the mail too, so I'm yeah, excited to get my get uh, get results in. Nice, nice, nice. So for anybody out there, I, I don't I, I don't mean to like take over. Um, but Kai and I are going to be working together, and I, I saw what Kai is doing. I love the fact that you're doing a 75 hard. It's awesome. Um, it's a very much a mental thing it's for discipline, mm -hmm. and it's 100%. really good for a lot of people. So what you're doing is you're you're really impacting your dopamine pathways because you're telling yourself like I'm going to do this, and it's going to get done. And once you do that on a regular basis, your dopamine is going to get like that big boost because you're actually saying what you're doing, which is where dopamine comes from. Um, it's the reason why if uh, you, you take a kid to an ice cream shop and you tell them that they're going to get ice cream and then you don't get them ice cream, they 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 melt. They, they just go into a panic attack because you've just spiked the dopamine and then they don't even get to to get the payoff. So. That's the idea behind what you're doing right now. It's like, I'm going to do 75 hard and you're going to crush it. Yeah, for sure. And that's the way I look at it too. I mean, because it's hard to stay on it forever. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, definitely just that mental toughness and just doing what you say you're going to do. And so for people who don't know, so what, what is dopamine? What, what is, how does that affect you? And how does that like kind of um so dopamine is your motivation. Dopamine is your your drive, your your initiative. Um, if you have low dopamine, uh, expect yourself to be depressed. Expect yourself to not be able to get off the couch and actually uh, take action. And um, a lot of people have low dopamine is because they are indulging in a lot of uh, activities that give them really quick dopamine hits. Mm. We want to be able to get dopamine by doing hard stuff that – um, takes effort. Uh, we don't want to get dopamine for very quick, easy things. However, we do every once in a while want to get like a quick dopamine hit. This is when a piece of candy is really good. This is when um, some some food that you've been craving is really good. But most of the time, you want to get your dopamine hits from um, hard activities, uh, finishing a project, uh, finishing a task, uh, going through your to-do list. Those are really good dopamine hits because then you're getting it naturally and mm -hmm. you don't have these huge spikes and lulls all the time. Nice. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So, yes, yeah, so you're going into like ha hacking your brain and you know, being more productive. Uh, what are some of the, the best tips? Or where, where do people even start with that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, your brain likes routine. It loves very much routine, doing the same thing. Um, where this is hard is uh, most people need some sort of growth and we need to be able to 
um, change our environment every so often. Um, so it's a bit of a balance for both of them. However, um, your brain loves certain neuro neurochemicals in its body. It loves uh, dopamine, which I've already talked about. It loves acetylcholine, which is the molecule for, for memory, for short-term um, recall, for recognition. That's what dopamine is, uh, not dopamine, acetylcholine is for. Then we have GABA, which is your, your molecule of calmness. It's your molecule of serenity. Um, it's what actually helps you fall asleep. It's uh, very much just um, about being very zen. And then you have mm -hmm. your serotonin uh, molecule, which is your molecule of a, a community. Uh, think of it as when you, you post something on Facebook and you get a lot of likes, that's a serotonin hit because people like you and we want to be in our community. So uh, there is other chemicals out there. And the other chemical is um, uh, the other two chemicals are oxytocin, which is the, the molecule. Most people think of a molecule as bo of bonding. Um, babies get oxytocin from suckling on a, on their mother. Um, we get oxytocin by touching other people and by laughing and having really good conversation. And then endorphins is your, your pain molecule. It, it, this is the molecule that allows you to overcome pain, overcome hardship and get addicted to it. And this is mm -hmm. why a lot of people love to work out because they get that endorphin hit and they, they, they really get a rush. Um, so if you ever had that runner's high, that's a part of the the endorphin hit as well. So those six molecules are really important to, to understand because then you can manipulate your brain in, in a way that is going to be effective and you're going to make more money and you're going to feel better and you're going to have better relationships. And it's just a trickle effect. Right. No, it's really, it's all about for sure. I mean, you can, I feel like if you don't have that all dialed in, it's hard to live your best life. Yeah. 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 And we can, and we need to manip manipulate them. So, um, one of the things that's hard is people say this is the way life is, and no, you can you can change it, and you can mm. get better results. Um, for instance, if um, if I ain't feeling really hot and I'm not ready to to do something, I'll I'll usually go take a walk. I'll usually get moving um, just to get my body in motion, which actually gets your brain in motion because you start getting some blood flow, and then mm. by the time you come back to the activity, you. you kind of have some inspiration to actually get yourself going. So for anybody out there who's feeling stuck, movement is actually a really good thing and just low intensity movement. So mm. maybe a few push ups, maybe a few dump, jumping jacks, you can go for a walk. If you have a dog, go take the dog out and then pet it. You still get that oxy oxytocin hit from just petting your dog. That's why we love our pets and dogs are special in our lives uh, because it, it gives us that sense of bonding, which is really, really important. Mm. That's good. And I completely forgot in the beginning. So for people who don't know, uh, who is Linnell Beckles? You kind of introduce yourself and how you kind of got into health and you know, kind of I'm your background. This, I'm just this ghost that talks about brain health. No, no right. <laughs> um, so I, I run a, a virtual fitness company called uh, Occam's Fitness, Occam's Fitness, either way, um, for Occam's Razor. And basically the idea behind it is I want you to have the simplest solution to get to your best health. That's pretty much what it's about. Um, I've been a personal trainer slash trainer slash coach for 16 plus years. Um, and I've worked with everyone from Olympians to professional athletes to high level executives. And uh, the idea behind it is I don't think there is a one size fits all for people. Um, everyone needs something very, very particular when it comes to their own health plan. And they shouldn't be they should absolutely try to customize it. And uh, Occam's Fitness is about customizing your plan so that way you get to your best body. Mm. That's great. So how did you kind of start your journey as far as getting into like brain health and starting to learn how to how to hack it and how to uh, manipulate it? Well, it's, it's very much a personal story. Uh, I was very in, in a very bad, bad shape. Um, I think uh, that was a time that was the end of my marriage and I was trying to figure out what the heck I wanted to do with my life. Um, and then I started to reach out to, I started to go to seminars on training because I was still a personal trainer and I wanted to like, see what the best was out best that was, that was out there. I wanted to know who had the, the best information. And at the time it was a guy named Charles Poliquin. And I went there thinking that I was going to get more done on training and learning how to build muscle and learning how to be lean. 
and then he started to open up our eyes to brain health and gut health and um, uh, metabolism. And all of a sudden, it was, this was really, really interesting to me. Um, and I started to do this myself to where I, I wanted to figure out, like, how, how was I going to be my best self? Um, at the time, I was dealing with uh, some illnesses. Um, in particular, my asthma was really, really bad. Uh, my allergies were always bad, and this was in the Northeast. And then my eczema, my skin, my skin issues were really awful, like to the point where I didn't want to take off my shirt in the summertime. So mm -hmm. I would wear long sleeve shirts in the summertime because it was just it looked awful, and nobody can figure it out. So what I did is uh, I started to go to these Charles Poliquin classes, and he was sharing with us um, how your gut health is impacting everything in your body. And one of the best things that you could do was just take a simple omega-3 fish oil. And mm. I was like, this is, that's it. Um, and I remember growing up, my mother used to feed me salmon and lots of fish and sardines. And I didn't like it often, but I just ate it because I was grateful to have food in the house. Um, but that was actually one of the times where I was actually really, really healthy because everything was home cooked. It was really quality food. And I started to go back to that and uh, incorporate more omega threes into my diet. And within about a month, my skin issues went away, like completely. Mm. Like I had like beautiful skin. I looked my, my wife at the time. I was like, she was like, "What? What did you do?" And I was like, "I was taking really a lot of fish oil." Um, at the same time, I was starting to be more productive at my job. I was doing. I was taking on more teams. I was training more athletes. I was starting to just get that motivation back. And that's when I knew like okay, there's, there's really something to this. There's really mm -hmm. something to not being in the state that you're in and actually like changing your body and changing your brain. So that, that really opened up my eyes and I started to just ask more questions and I, I still, I'm still learning. I still mess up and try something new and I'm like, this is, this is really cool. Yeah. No, that's super cool, man. Yeah. It's uh definitely a journey especially when you it's just so different it's literally night and day i mean when you're feeling down and depressed and you're not productive and you're you know you're not getting work done and you feel like you just don't have any drive and you can't figure out why and then you know you just find out you know it's just making these changes it's it can be, really makes all the difference in your business and in your life and your health your happiness i mean really they all just tie together yeah yeah it's it's huge it's huge so what are some of the common um, deficiencies that you find people have or what are some of the you know easy easy hacks that they can do or start to implement in their life? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Um, probably the biggest deficiency that most people have is a magnesium deficiency. Mm. Um, magnesium is a mineral that's responsible for about 300 processes in the body. So it's, it's pretty important. Um, the sad part about it is that probably maybe about 40 years ago, we had a lot more magnesium in our food. Now with the advent of av agriculture and um, farming, uh, mm. lots and lots of farming, our, our food is not as nutritious as it once was. And we've lost magnesium as a mineral in our food. So we don't have nearly the amount. Magnesium is really, really good uh, if you're stressed. If you're constantly stressed, if you constantly have a monkey mind, if you're constantly anxious, um, if you have tight muscles, if you have issues with your blood sugar, like magnesium is one of those supplements where you're like, sheesh, why, why doesn't everyone take this? Yeah. Um, and uh, when you start to take it on a regular basis and your, your body starts to fill up with magnesium, uh, one of the best things that you'll notice is that you just, you don't let things get to you. Uh, you mm -hmm. kind of, you know, brush it brush the dirt off your shoulder and you're like, yeah, I'm cool. Um, and that's just the part of magnesium uh, doing its job and keeping a state of balance and calm, which is really cool. Um, there's multiple forms of magnesium and I will mm -hmm. probably go into that later, but magnesium is number one. Um, number two is definitely omega-3s in your diet. Um, that really is a huge, huge uh, deficiency. Um, this is why the med Mediterranean diet is so um, so popular um, mm. because it actually has a, quite a bit of omega threes in its diet from the fish, um, from the from the nuts, from the oils. Um, all of those fats that are in those uh, foods are really really important for the body to keep it in a state of um, uh, anti inflammation. If that's the way to say it, um, the more inflamed you get, 
the worse your body uh, performs, uh, the, 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 the worse your immune system is, the worse your, worse your gut health is, your brain health. So we want a lot of uh, omega-3s in our diet on a regular basis in order to keep that inflammation down. So that's mm. probably another thing that people are deficient on. And then lastly is still vitamin D. No matter where you are in the world, um, getting enough vitamin D seems to be an issue for a lot of people. Um, vitamin D, although it's considered a vitamin, is actually more of a hormone and it actually signals a lot of other processes in the body, including testosterone. So for any man out there who's uh, dealing with issues, uh, vitamin D is the start of it. Um, and just getting 20 minutes a day is is a start, but more than likely, if you're in a cold cold weather environment, you probably need to start supplementing with vitamin D. Um, and even if you're in a warm weather environment, you should take a little bit of a of a supplement to to get that going. So mm. those three those three are pretty big deficiencies I've seen in a lot of people. Yeah, that's super helpful to start. And then how do you, how does someone test to see if they have any other deficiencies or what? How do they do that? That's that's a good one. Um, you can pretty much. So this is a hard one. Um, uh, I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of most doctors mm -hmm. only because they have a they have a dogma and they like to stick to it. And when you start to attack it, they 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 go on the defensive. This is not all doctors, but I, I've I've been in and out of hospitals for almost my whole life. Uh, there was a big portion of it where I actually stayed out of the hospital and felt great. And now I, I was controlling my health. And so uh, most doctors, the, the first thing what they want to do is put you on medication. So uh, and I'm not a fan of medication at all. Um, but um, you can actually do your own testing uh, by either going to different websites. They're starting to do blood tests uh, that you think they, they can you can send to your home, which is really cool. Um, or you can see a, a naturopathic doctor who is kind of the intermediary between a functional, med not a functional, a Western medicine doctor, you know, MD, and then they're maybe a little bit below, but they have the same credentials and they're able to give you more of a comprehensive test to just test, you know, what vitamins you're, you're deficient in, um, your comprehensive uh, blood panel, um, what, um, uh, what your omega threes are in your body. They can actually test that uh, in your body. So you can actually do all of those through a functional medicine, medicine doctor. That's super cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like a big one. I feel like ever since that movie Limitless came out, everybody wants like that that hack, or they want like that you know be super focused, or you're kind of looking for that that quick fix. Um, well, yeah, what what are your thoughts on how to increase like your focus and focus? Um, focus is a good one. Um, I'll give you the I'll give you the 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 cheap way, and then I'll give you a little bit more expensive way. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So the, the the cheaper way is to um, block off your your days in very small chunks. Mm. Um, I learned this from our friend Adam Lyons, uh, who is a highly productive guy. And uh, there's a technique called the Pomodoro technique where you work for 25 minutes and then you mm. have a five-minute break and then you keep that on throughout the day. Um, your brain will get tired. And if you give it breaks and allow it to switch tasks to something else – it will regenerate to the point where it can hold a uh, consistent focus throughout the day. So this is really good. Um, if you have a hard time focusing for 25 minutes, you can bring that down to 15 minutes. But the idea is that you get to the point where you're just able to maintain that pace throughout the day. And then you can start bumping up, bumping it up. Uh, 25 seems to be the, the sweet spot for a lot of people when, mm -hmm. they, when they feel like they want to keep working, but the timer goes off. And then they they automatically go. That's a really good feeling because you have you have that drive to come and come and finish the task again, which is really yeah. Weird. So so what are you what are you doing during those five minutes? Like because uh, I feel like sometimes I take a little break, I get distracted doing something else. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, I I do something I do something funny. I'll go walk around. Um, maybe I'll go talk to a friend. Um, in your case, I might go pet the dog or mm -hmm. uh, talk to Bree. Um, I might, um, uh, I might do some pushups if I want to, uh, maybe I'll go laugh at some memes, uh, but I'm trying to get away from the task. So my yeah. brain has a, has a time to percolate and, uh, come up with new ideas. Cause I may mm. come back to the same task and be like, 
this is a great idea. I'm going to implement that. And that's a really good thing because your brain is trying to consolidate a lot of information. So that's where you get really good ideas. Um, and the problem is that most people don't allow the space to let those ideas consolidate. So that way you, you have that really huge idea. Mm. That's good. Yeah. And then so you're just doing a timer for both. So you have like a hard 25 minutes and a hard five minute break. Yeah. 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 You can actually, there's a, there's a lot of apps out there. Um, the one that I use is called um, focus to do. Mm. I think that's what it is. Focus. Yep. Focus to do. And you know, they have an app for that. So they have a bunch of different apps that you can use. I like this one because I can put down what task I'm trying to accomplish throughout the day. And it'll just allow me to just like, tap off the task once they're done, which is really cool. Like that's a really good dopamine hit when I'm like done. Yeah. <laughs> love that. Love that. Um, in terms of expensive, um, definitely there are drugs out there that are really good. And actually I, I like these drugs. Um, mm -hmm. I can actually get off of them, but I'll, I will feel a little bit. Uh, probably the best one out there is called modafinil. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nootropic. I don't know. Have you ever heard about it? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I, I think yeah. I was pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, I've tried it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Modafinil is great. Um, modafinil works on the dopamine pathways as well, I believe. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong. Um, but if you've ever seen the movie Limitless uh, with Brad, uh, Bradley Cooper, that's what the, the drug is made off of. Uh, and uh, modafinil is really cool because you'll, you'll pound through work really, 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 really fast. Yeah. Um, when you combine that with the Pomodoro, you'll find you'll get so much more done uh, throughout the day because you'll work really fast for 25 minutes and you'll be like, I should finish this, but I'm gonna actually get up. And when you come back, you 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 work a bit faster because you're starting to get the rhythm down. Yeah, so. I think they made it for like fighter pilots originally. Oh yeah. Somewhere, yeah, so that's a task you don't wanna be messing up too. No, yeah. no. And Top Gun really showed me what fighter pilots were, were, were like. And now I'm like, yeah, they, they should be taking it. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, that's such a so good where do you where do you find that? Do you have to get that from like um, someone? Cause I, I, I had a site and then the site disappeared. Yeah. yeah. So, it. yeah, there are some black label sites out there. Um, uh, the best thing to do is actually go talk to your doctor. Mm -hmm. um, and, and keep this a little bit secret, everyone. Uh, you're going to tell them that you're suffering from narcolepsy, um, which I actually kind of was dealing with. Um, I mm -hmm. could fall asleep at the drop of a dime. Boom. And I was like, this is weird, but I just thought it was just normal. Yeah. Um, and that's a form, that's a sign that your brain is just toast and you need something to wake it up. Um, and uh, modafinil will do it. So go to your doctor, say, hey, I'm kind of dealing with some narcolepsy. Uh, I heard modafinil is really good for that. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah here you go. Nice. So, there are there any other ones that you tried besides modafinil? Um, I have some other nootropics. I've tried a lot of racetams. Mm -hmm. um, Aniracetam. Uh, yeah, I tried I, that one. I haven't tried I, I, I can't like remember. Paracetam. I think Paracetam, I tried. yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of them, um, and they're all different. Um, I like them. They're pretty good. Uh, Modafinil by far is the best. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. No, Modafinil good. is probably like the gold standard when it comes to um, focus and brain health. That's probably right. the best one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So one thing I mentioned too is like you thought you had something going wrong with an narcolepsy, but you thought it was just normal. Um, what are some other warning signs that people should look out? I, mean, I feel like some people struggle with something like, gosh, that's how I am, or it's just normal, or they don't think nothing of it. Um, if they can, if they can sit down and go to sleep within a few minutes, you probably have narcolepsy. Mm -hmm. If there's sunlight out and you find yourself just napping throughout the day, you probably have some sort of narcolepsy. Mm -hmm. However, if you take a nap and you feel refreshed and you're ready to go throughout the day, that's not narcolepsy. That's just refresher. Mm -hmm. But if you find yourself doing that on a regular basis, like taking multiple naps a day, that's, that's a narcolepsy. You probably want to go get that, get that fixed. Right. Um, if you if you're in meetings and you mm -hmm. find yourself just falling asleep, even though they're boring, um, that's that's still a form of narcolepsy because your brain can't focus on the task. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely go check it out from a doctor. That's a really good thing to check out. I I didn't really understand it until I talked to a friend, and I'm like, man, I deal with that too. Yeah, and then, uh, that's when the modafinil. Yeah, anytime I take modafinil, I'm like wide awake throughout the day. I'm like. 
let's go. Let's crush yeah. this day. Nah, that's huge. That makes a difference. Um, but you, so more I was asking about, so for like warning signs, more like brain fog or that test that I took that you sent me for like, Hey, maybe there, there's some other, the you know things are out of whack with the brain or. Um, so brain fog, uh, regular brain fog is, is not common. It's not mm. something that you should deal with. Um, in your case, so for, for everyone out there, like I said, he, um, uh, Kai took a, a test and I can actually give you the link to the test. Anybody can go take it. Uh, and basically it just shares with you what your neurotransmitter type is. Um, it's, it's really cool to see because then you'll understand what neurotransmitters are influencing your personality mm. but i'm never concerned about that i'm more concerned about the deficiencies and when i, I got kai's um, he came back with a very large deficiency and i'm like dude uh, this explains why you're kind of wired but still tired um and why you you can't seem to focus really well um his gaba your gaba was really really deficient mm. which tells me that you were you were going through like this really anxious state every single minute of the day <laughs> mm, yeah but couldn't really do anything about it so it left you in a state of like paralysis mm. so uh one of the best things for that which very few people know this is uh taurine mm. and most people will think of taurine as being in something in energy drinks yeah um, that's what i thought of yeah, that's what most people think about it, think of it as. And depending on your your brain, it may put you to sleep. Um, mm. uh, our friend Adam, it puts him to sleep. If he starts taking uh, certain energy drinks that have a good amount of taurine, it'll put him to sleep, which is mm. incredible to me. Um, but taurine really affects your your nervous system and helps you with um, helps you with the transmission of your of your nerves. So mm. uh, it'll start to to stimulate it faster, so that you actually uh, can get a signal uh, all around your body. So now your brain is woken up and it's ready to actually deal with tasks throughout the day instead of having that 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 rebooting throughout the morning, where you're like, "I'm almost ready. <laughs> mm. I'll be there soon." <laughs> yeah, but you're not really ready. Um, mm. Anybody out there that that wants to go get taurine should go get it. Um, I, I have a, a company that I use that's like 100% pure taurine, so it's it's high quality. But um, if you're dealing with, if you're, if you feel like you can't get the words out of your mouth, um, if you feel as if it takes you two to three hours to get the day started. Um, if you feel like your brain is racing, but your body ain't moving, taurine will help with that and it will get you going. That's probably mm. one of the best things I can say. And that's not even the, that's not even the only supplement, but that's the one that I, I, I gave you like three or four, didn't I? Yeah. 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 Um, the other two, I think the other one I gave you was, uh, oh, was a fish oil. Yeah. It was like so, concentrated, right? Like a, like a very concentrated. So yeah. very concentrated and uh, more brain ready fish oil. Mm. So there's, um, I think there's like four types of fish oils. Um, I only focus on two of them. Um, one of them is EPA, which I do not know the names. Don't ask me. Um, EPA is really good for inflammation. EPA is really good if you uh, bruise yourself, if you need to heal properly. It'll it'll help with uh, help with that. DHA um, is really the brain ready form of omega threes, and it'll cross the blood brain barrier and actually uh, stimulate more. It's not BDNF, yeah, BDNF, uh, and get you to the point where your brain is less inflamed. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's a very important molecule and something that you really only get from uh, cold water fish. Mm -hmm. So salmon, sardines, um, not so much trout. Um, krill, which you get krill oil. So big cold water fish for uh, DHA and warm-ish water fish for EPA. Mm. And then what was the other one I gave you? I'm not, I don't have the list in front of me. Um, yeah, neither do I. I can't remember what the third one is. Neither do I. That's so funny. I can't we can drop it in the, the links after that. I'll put it in the comments. Dope. Dope. I'm going to go ahead and see if I see if I remember which one it was. Oh, which one it was? I wonder if it was a uh, magnet. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, yes, inositol. So inositol um, uh, is a, is it a B vitamin? Is it a B vitamin? It is a B vitamin, I believe. Um, inositol is really good for sleep as well. It also um, helps disrupt the brain. Um the brain electri electrical signal so that yeah. it starts to 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 wire better. Um, most people think of inositol as something that's really good for um, women and menstrual cycles, which it really mm -hmm. is, but it does help with uh, blood sugar regulation, which is very important for the brain because you don't want to have your your you don't want to have your insulin going up and down, um, right. which is important for kind of overall energy. So if you find yourself having like big sugar rushes and really hard crashes, mm. um, that's a that's a blood sugar dysregulation, and inositol does help with that. Okay, so yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, I decided to try the other ones. I mean, the first one. I mean, yeah, like I said, beginning of the call, it's been been a game changer. So, oh, so so happy, so happy you did that because I was like, dude, you <laughs> you need to get back. Yeah, no, it's yeah, definitely night and day. But, Awesome, man. So what are, are there any other tips that you have or any other things you think we missed about as far as, you know, uh, hacking your brain and getting started or being more productive? Um, does everyone deal with sleep? Like sleep is another issue that really, really helps uh, yeah. a lot of people. Um, and I, I really try to help people out with their sleep because if they can get those seven to nine hours dialed in, um, the rest of the day is much easier. Um, but, Sleep is one of those things that'll make you, if you don't get it, you'll feel like an asshole or you'll be an asshole to everybody because it, it disrupts your emotions uh, a lot. Um, so probably the, the, the best thing is actually having a, a really good nighttime routine, which mm. I don't think many people take serious, but having that routine that gets your body to start down regulating and start getting ready for sleep is very, very important. So um, a few pointers about how to keep your bedroom. Uh, number one, keep it cool. Uh, some women don't like this because they, they naturally get cold, but get some good blankets. But you, you want to have that cool air around you because your body mm -hmm. temperature naturally wants to drop when you sleep. Um, you, wanna, you want it to be dark. Uh, the darker, the better. So I always tell people to get um, some... Uh, blinds, some blackout blinds, which are really, really important. Um, this is because melatonin will not produce in the in, when it's bright. So mm -hmm. if you have, if you're looking at a screen, if you're looking at um, some sort of lamp, uh, your melatonin production will be decreased. If you can find a way to put like red light in your bedroom, that actually is much better for you than regular fluorescent light or even just. Um, uh, Candescent light, oh, candescent, mm -hmm. yeah, just regular light out there. So um, I have like little um, strips, so you can see it right here, uh, that actually allows me to change the color. So at night, my bedroom is like red. I mean, I can show you right now. So Alexa, mm -hmm. turn the all the lights to red. Okay. So uh, take still. red. Yeah. So um, I don't even turn off, turn on overhead lights. Uh, mm -hmm. I just keep it all red, and it. Within within ten minutes, I'm asleep. So yeah. that's a that's another thing. Um, so cool, uh, red light. Do 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 do. And then uh, if you can limit any amount of light coming from like screens, coming from like little dots, coming from alarm clocks or anything, that's actually going to help you out a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, your bedroom should be built for sleep and nothing else <laughs> unless you're kind of living in a room uh you should find a way to to make sure that you can compartmentalize your your house so that way you have just your bedroom for sleep and sleep in you know a little bit of fun uh but nothing should be kind of uh tvs and stuff like that that's that's how it should be but obviously people are going to live very differently um uh, when it comes to sleep, uh, some of the supplements I, I share with you will help with sleep, but it's kind of an offshoot. The fact that taurine is going to wake you up in the morning means that you're, by the time you hit nighttime, you're going to be more ready to, to fall asleep. That's just a, a side effect. But if you're looking for 
sleep supplements. Uh, magnesium is the, one of them. Um, and in particular, uh, magnesium threonate or mm. magtine is a really good one. Uh, and I can send you all of this. Uh, then you have uh, 5-HTP, which is a, a really good one for tryptophan. And that'll help you fall asleep and start stimulating uh, GABA. Uh, I wouldn't take melatonin, uh, which is what a lot of people say they do, only because your body will stop producing melatonin if you mm. keep taking uh, what's called ex exogenous or external melatonin. Um, and this is because your body says, okay, we're, we're, we're getting it from the outside. Why should we just produce it? So you want your body to keep naturally producing melatonin, especially at night. So you can get a little bit going, but after a while it won't work anymore. So, mm. um, another thing that really helps is uh blue blocking glasses. Have you ever, have you ever played with those? Have you ever seen? Yeah, them? I got them. I should have them somewhere. I think I left them in the bedroom, but awesome. Yeah. Uh, I had, yeah, I, I love had them. Blue I had some blue blockers somewhere. Can't find them. But um, if you find yourself in, or in front of a screen every single day, uh, all the time, uh, probably wearing the blue blockers are, are going to help because they're, they're going to uh, take away the bright light from the screen and allow you to produce melatonin earlier um, at night. So that's a, a really cool thing about blue blockers. Yeah, no, they're great. Yeah, it's uh... – Sometimes like, I'll wear them like the whole day and then I'll take them off and it's like, wow, it's like everything's so bright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, like it's, shock. It's, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. And, you know, I just I just like them because people always ask questions and like, what mm -hmm. are those? I was like, oh, I'm just protecting my eyes. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Starts a conversation. Mm -hmm. no, that's a great point. Yeah, I heard Adam say that at one of the events. I'm like, oh, that's a great point. It's a great yeah. conversation starter for sure. He is the man in terms of uh, starting conversations and getting people to talk. Like uh, he's he's taught me a lot. Mm. No, that's great. And then you guys are doing something cool together soon too, right? You're doing. We are. So uh, people have been asking about uh, his results, and um, I have other people that have results, but people. Are so like, I saw the pictures. Man, they're wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's he's doing he's doing great. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna share with you what what three big mistakes are that people make to to change their body, and their and their body to change their body and their health. Uh, most people are working out too hard. They're eating the wrong foods or what we like to say poison, and then they're just focus on focusing on the wrong metrics. So uh, we're gonna do a. a a masterclass that shares what those three big mistakes are and how you can avoid them. Uh, anybody here is invited to jump on uh, totally free, brand new training. And uh, we will bring everything. We'll share with you. I'm going to share with you exactly what a workout looks like. I'll share with you how do you can customize your plan, uh, the whole nine. So that way you walk away saying, oh, okay, you know, as long as I do this, I should be able to get there. And then Kai and I are going to be working together and we're going to get you, we're going to get you ripped. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Something I wanted. It's been on my goal list for a while, man. So yeah, I'm happy we connected, and yeah, definitely looking forward to working together, man. Absolutely, absolutely. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm excited for you. I'm I'm really happy about your brain. Like, uh, I keep saying this over and over again, but um, I've been in your situation before where it's just like can't get out of your way, um, mm. and I wish I knew this this information much earlier. I think I would have really benefited from it but i'm just glad to give it away and just share share with people yeah no 100 man I, I appreciate you and yeah i appreciate you sharing that with me and definitely a huge difference so so what's the uh, the best way for people to connect with you and you'll learn learn more about you and and uh outcomes absolutely absolutely um so the best way is um uh, either my facebook or instagram um Total very good ways. Uh, my name, Linnell, uh, Linnell Beckles, uh, L-A-N-E-L-L, -L, and last name Beckles, B as in boy, E-C-K-L-E-S. And just say, hey, I saw you on Kai's show. Just love to connect. And more than happy to talk and answer questions. And yeah, don't be afraid to reach out. Awesome, man. Well, hey, thanks again for coming on. I'm going to drop all those links. And if you have any other links for the stuff you mentioned in the comments, people want to check them out. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody checking this out. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is an awesome, awesome live.